Sunshine Plus. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, ma'am. Okay. Uh, where are my remote? Okay, and how are you? How are things? How was your holiday? Did you have fun? Yes. Good morning, everybody. Okay, what did you do? Uh, Shivana, ma'am, good morning. Are you there? I'm with someone else. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Yeah. Uh, who are these people? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Just yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Just right, right, right. right. Fun, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just looking out. I think there's still a little holiday. Come back yet. So, right. Right. Do you know we have some special guests for you today? You know, I thought since you had flabbergasted and like, wow, what brilliant designs you've come up with. And I thought, what better when we have it assessed by one of the very famous and hardworking and innovative engineer. Yeah. So I'd like to tell you something uh, about our guest today. Okay. As a kid, I was very passionate about building things. Okay. And he studied his diploma and his engineering in uh, civil engineering from India. And then further, he pursued his studies in US. Okay. Now, from last 18 years, he's working in construction. Okay. So when you talk about 18 years, don't think he's in a dinosaur age. Okay. Fantastic. He's still young. And I'm going to share some pics with you. Okay. About him. Right. And he's been working on constructing projects like buildings, highway, bridges, railroad, and loads and loads of infrastructure, public infrastructure. And, you know, uh, approximately he has managed to construct roughly around uh, 75 bridges okay 75 bridges wow isn't that cool right so I would like to welcome Irfan Patel okay he's from USA and Irfan the floor is yours uh, if you could say some few words and uh, talk to my rights and then we can just move on with the uh, yeah, designs okay Yeah, if answer, you're muted. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, uh, yeah figured. So, how are you? How is everyone doing? I'll just share this picture with you. Yeah. I didn't uh, hear anybody. Can you hear me? Aisha, can you hear me? Just show me a thumbs up, please. Okay, thank you. I'll just show you a picture. Oh, Irfan, it's not you, Irfan. Yes, I was... Uh, Asking the kids, how are you guys doing? Fine. Good. Fine. Fine. Yeah, this is the artwork done by my daughter and she's right next to me out here. She's around your age. She's, she's 12 years old. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Zara. Outer. Go ahead. Say your name. All right, I'll I'll give her a little icebreaker. This is my daughter. She's Zara. She's twelve years old. Uh, she loves to swim. She's going to be going to seventh grade. So, what grades are you all going to be? Can you all tell me about yourself? Uh, starting with Humera. Humera, can you hear me? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? How old are you? What do you love doing? Zara wants to know every one of you. Uh, I guess there's some internet problem. We had quite stormy weather uh, last 24 hours, so probably she can't hear you. Uh, maybe uh, any one of you would like to introduce yourself? Aisha, Ibrahim, Juvi? Yeah, yeah. ma'am. Can I introduce? 
can i introduce myself yes go ahead hi my name is ibrahim mizwani and i am in 6th grade i am from golden sparrow in right group and my hobby is painting excellent to introduce yourself hi my name is abdullah i i i am 11 i am 11 years old and my hobby is play i am in 6th grade i am in golden sparrow and i am in right group and my hobby is to play cricket how about doing mischief yeah that also actually that is the main thing right is the next one Yeah, come on. Can I go? Yes, please. Um, hello, I'm Jaya White, and I study in Golden Sparrow. I'm in Right Group, and uh, uh, my hobby is I love playing outdoor games, and I even love to make experiments, and uh, that's all. Shalom. Can I go? Yes, yeah. please. Start now. My name is Aisha Aga. I study in Golden Sparrow. I am in Right Group, and my hobby is gymnastics. Yeah, so we'll have all those flipping buildings floating around. Yeah, Aisha, I like that. Yes, anybody else That's who would like to introduce? Name. Yes, please. My name is Aisha Kazi, and I study in Golden Sparrow and Right Group, and my hobby is to read books. Okay. And fantastic. Ten years old in fifth grade. All right. So, uh, Irfan, we have all these brilliant kids out here who would like to present their design to you. So, could we just start with it, if it's all right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I want to compliment all of you for a wonderful introduction. I mean, I'm still scared in talking with. Okay. So, the, the assessment uh, we had given them. So, yes, I'm sorry. There's some internet problem out here. Yeah, that's all right. Let's get started. I'm excited to hear what you, what these kids have. I mean, I, at your age, I didn't know anything about earthquakes and I didn't know anything about design. So I'm really excited and thrilled to hear your ideas. No, this is wonderful. Irfan sir, I'm Dawood here. Uh, of course, uh, I'm as excited to meet you as you know the kids are. We'd like to know about you first. You know your studies. Uh, why did you land up in the United States? Where did you do your school from? Were you a smart kid or naughty kid in the school or both? Like most of Abdullah's and Hamdan's and Umar's here. Tell us about you. And that little girl next to you, she looks very mischievous to me as well. Yes. So, I mean, I was just like uh, Abdullah. I'm. Uh, I'm his uncle, so if you know his father, then I'm a little worse than him. <laughs> oh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm praying for my, my kids now. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, I loved, I loved being outdoors. I loved doing mischief. I enjoyed studying as well. So I had a good balance. Uh, one thing that I learned was hard work. There is no substitute to hard work. So in life, always remember, there will be ups and downs, so keep working hard, be positive, and be goal-oriented. Um, I, I finished my engineering in India, and then I came to United States to study further. As uh, Everybody thinks that things are very lucrative in America, and uh, I, I did the same thing. I'm grateful. I got real good education here and good opportunities. And like um, Madam Sabana explained, uh, in the last 18 years, I have been grateful to build over 75 bridges. The exciting part of the work is I get to travel, I get to be close to nature, uh, and still not be locked in an office. So 
this is the exciting thing about engineering. You can be creative at the same time. You can enjoy mother nature. That's, that's wonderful. I'll put my camera on. I think there's some issue with my, uh, but, but what kind of bridges do you make? We'd love to see some of your bridges, maybe a little later once they present and at some point. Yes, of course. All right, there we are. All of you, it's, it's over to you now. Who's going to present first about your earthquake research? Shabana, ma'am, you can go ahead with your kids. Rushta, you want to check that uh, if France is really from the United States? We'll ask which... which All right. Actually, the from. internet is a bit... Hamdan wants to go ahead. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just taking over. As you can always, you know, I have no idea what they're going to present. Hamdan wants to start. Go ahead. Uh, actually, there's an uh, inconsistency in the internet at my end. So, that would be if you could pitch take... Yes, yes. But... Uh, just, uh, Hamdan, back, yeah? What's up with you? Okay. Uh, okay. So, right. Uh, who, who would you would want to go first with your design? Hamdan, the horseman. Go ahead. So I have made this building with down there shock absorbers over here, which when the earthquake comes, they move, but but the building doesn't fall in the ground. Okay. And uh, the, it has a really strong base and a steel type structure, steel to be used in structure, structure formation. Cross braces transfers movement away to the foundation. So Ham <coughs> Hamza, do you know what those shock absorbers do? Uh, they they absorb the shock and that the uh, earthquake can't put on the weight and the building won't fall. Excellent. I mean, uh, if you want to think simple, you have tennis shoes, right? You wear tennis shoes. Do you wear tennis shoes? Yeah, we all do. I wear my Adidas shoes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, have, the brand guy, he does, yeah. they have thick rubber sole. So try and stand and try and move like how that shoe will will let you move, will let you swing, but it won't let you fall. So that's what those shock absorbers do. Get that? Yeah. Good job. Uh, May I so can I go next? Shock absorbers were, by the way. I'm amazed. Good job. Who's next? Abdullah. Sir, first we have the pillars down which hold the building. It has, again, rubber shock absorbers to absorb the earth tremors. And then it has a, then it has a foundation that is made of steel which is very heavy. It doesn't stay, it it avoids the clay and directly goes to the bedrock. If it goes into the clay, so the clay is not steady, so it, the building would collapse. So there were chances so the build, building could collapse, so it directly goes into the bedrock. And then we have open areas for evacuation. Fire resistant materials. We have fire resistant materials and automatic window shutters to pre prevent follow, fall, fa falling glasses. So it is, so we have automatic windows that shut, uh, shut automatically so the glass doesn't fall down. So nobody can get hurt also. And then there are steel frames which can sway during earth movements. So the steel frames control the building so it doesn't fall. And we have computer controlled ways on the roof roof to reduce movement. Hmm. So there are very uh, very powerful weights up in the uh, controlled with computer in the roof. So it does uh, so it reduces the it reduces the movement of the building. And and then we have roads for emergency down and 
and the steel frames which are on the building which helps them to control is 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 put it by bird cages so it does not fall excellent abdullah abdullah would you like to show your design to irfan please yeah i abdullah i have got your design i'll show it <laughs> this is abdullah's building <laughs> The rack okay. off. So Abdullah, I mean that that was uh, all excellent ideas. I mean the steel frame that gives rigidity to the building, then shock absorbers, and then uh, also heavy foundation. So think about it. It's like how you were skinny before when you were really small. But now you are all healthy, right? So if somebody tries to push you, you're not going to fall. So that's what the heavy foundation does in an earthquake. It protects the building from collapsing. It anchors the building in the ground. Do you follow? But great ideas. You know which buildings designed like that with automatic system uh, to monitor the wind and movement at the roof? Uh, do you know Burj Khalifa? Have you been to Dubai? No, but I know that. It is yeah, the I... biggest tower in the whole world. It's Irfan, tall... don't give him ideas, please. Tallest tower in the world. So that, that would be your next dream job, right? To visit it first and then to design one like that. Excellent job. Thank you. Can I go next? I guess you all have your books with you. You can just show the design and then explain it to Irfan, please. Yeah. Ma'am, can I start? Yes, please, Ibrahim, go ahead. So this is a rough design of my building. And I have designed it. It is just the outer part. So I'm, I'm going. Um, the foundation should be strong and flexible. There should be concrete ring underneath to channel the shockwave when an earthquake comes. So it acts like a repellent. Uh, the concrete rings should be across the foundation. Um, the building should be kneaded with and made with nice steel. And uh, at the opposite side, there should be large weights with hydraulics moving the opposite direction when earthquake comes like used in Burj Khalifa. And uh, on the opposite side, you uh, the steel will, uh, uh, the steel and the concrete mixture would prevent 75% of damage, uh, less damage from my estimation. This is just the outer, you can just see. Well, that's a, that's a very nice picture. You drew that? Yes. So you I like, like drawings? Yeah, I like drawing. You like to work with scales, rulers? Yeah. Yes, I like geometrical shapes. Yes, I can tell from your your building. I mean, the shape of the building is very, very much perfect for earthquake resistant. It has a pretty wide, broad uh, foundation, and then the column. What I mean, a narrow column structure, to it, so that gives more stability as well as damping to the building. So when it swings, it can. It can stop swinging. It doesn't collapse. Good job. And I can I, tell also what is hydraulics. Hydraulics uh, is uh, 
hydraulics is a spring so it uh, it uh, it doesn't come down like uh, gravity doesn't affect it so we have a bed like uh, we, we can keep things inside it so we have to push it up to keep the so my mom could and so i and my father did it so i saw that there was a spring which was letting the bed the mat up and the and it uh, they opened us uh, empty space to keep the stuff so i saw that that was hydraulics and i searched about that so i made a rough design that's pretty good and i like the idea about the rings concrete rings to absorb the yeah, the channel the shock waves away from the building foundation good job and the foundation should also be strong and flexible thank you next time i design a building i'm going to use this idea how about that can i do that yeah definitely sir excellent uh, no no that's a copyright of mine my students so you'll have to give me a royalty all right for that uh, irfan okay thank you ibrahim brilliant you know uh, like i said just so good you know fantastic there uh, we'll take uh, one of them more and then you could just share some of your experiences what uh, like you know what's the fun part of it and what are the things that you really need to concentrate and work more on yeah so would aisha kazi rushta or juwaria who would like to go I see hand from Aisha. Can I go? Yeah, you yeah, and you Aisha can, can fight, fight and decide. Who. Okay, we have Juwaria. Yes, Juwaria, please go on. Um. I have drawn this picture, and my building is a trying a triangular building because a triangle is the most strongest shape. So I have drawn a triangle building, and um, on the top of it there is a fan type uh, thing. It is so hard uh, so that uh, it uh, um, it might blow some of the water away. and uh, there is a safety suit down in the building which will help uh, help us cross the water and uh, near the building there are some uh, holes which are very deep and uh, water uh, some water might go inside so uh, it will do less damage to our building and we can be safe very nice Thank you. Do you know which buildings are triangular? Have you seen one? No. No? Think about it. It's a very it's a very old old building. Is it pyramid? Exactly. Pyramid. pyramid. So that's where the concept of construction and earthquake resistant buildings come from. You you see like ancient times when there was no engineering no computers but but the man in that age knew what was the best structure so they designed they built pyramids and they they are they are still there and they have survived many earthquakes right yes yes good job good design thank you thank you okay aisha kazi you want to go next aisha kazi then we'll have irfan sir saying something like you know sharing tips and advices with us yeah yeah uh, i can i share my screen yes please this is my earthquake proof building uh this um this has a base isolator that holds it from underground and um, 
there is a moat which also um, prevents from uh, disrupting the building like holding the water and there is a sheer core and a sheer wall and a cross bracing that's nice so the brace the cross bracing and the sheer walls they make sure that the when the building's moving in an earthquake then the yeah. they break the building doesn't break doesn't collapse it keeps it intact all the all the floors of the building remain intact this is this is all great ideas i mean do, do you live in a building aisha or you live yeah. on a yeah live you, in a building. you live in a building does it has a staircase yes so that staircase and closure is a sheer wall. So next time you go up and down, then remember that's the sheer wall, right? You will. So you live in an earthquake proof building. Good job. All right, I'll just share some. Okay, Umar, Umar Sharif, yeah. Oh, we'll take Umar Sharif and then we'll just share some of the work uh, which Irfan has done, yeah? Design. It has a base isolation and tune mass damper so that uh, the building uh, so the, the building doesn't move much and and from the ground also heavy wind come so the tune mass damper can just hold it. I, I I didn't hear anybody else talk about damper. I see that you you mentioned dampers. So uh, and to prevent the building from moving too much. I mean, you want the building to move when there is earthquake, but you don't want it move too much. Just like uh, have you seen a pendulum? Has anybody seen old grandfather clocks? Oh yes, everybody has. I'm sure about it. Yeah. So how it has the pendulum that swings, and one of those, if you keep, if you push it, if there are no gears, then it's gonna keep swinging, right? Like if you if you tie a weight to a string and try to move it, it's gonna keep moving, and it's gonna take a long time to stop, right? But what dampers do is like it 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 makes the building stop moving as soon as the earthquake stops. So it doesn't keep moving afterwards. Good job. All right, I'll just share some pictures of your work, uh, Irfan, yeah? Sure. Yeah, right. Uh, this is, I think, a bridge that you're building. Would you like to talk about it a bit, yeah? Anything specific or highlights about it, please? So this is this is the top deck of the bridge. Like when you would, you all go on in cars, go places, cross bridges, right? So this is the top of the bridge. You see how much steel they put in there? Just a minute, yeah. See all the steel in there. So in your research and in your in your in your design, you saw every every time you read, right? That for earthquake you need a lot of steel. So that's the reason why they have so much steel. I live and work in California, and California has the worst earthquakes in the history. So it's one of the very high risk state of america for earthquakes and in the whole world as well so our our bridges have to be very solid very strong for earthquake 
and fortunately our design has very high standards so one of the days you guys will be designing those bridges right yeah you do you, does anyone have any question how many years did did it, um, uh, did you make it how many years it take to build the bridge uh, yes. roughly it takes maybe a year for one year to build a build a long size bridge so anywhere from 8 months to a year this is another project where a bridge is built over a highway so there's highway and underneath it and there's a bridge and there are all the ramps and in america they call it an interchange what do you call in india we call it traffic jam <laughs> yeah you see okay. the scenery you see the niche i mean all the surrounding so that's the advantage of being an engineer, you get to work in cool, beautiful places also. So Irfan, it's eight months to one year in America, and that would be roughly about eight to 10 years in India, probably. Anyways, okay. So uh, would you like to share something about, you know, some interesting part of your work wherein you have, like, you know, the fun part as well? Um, we, we, because when you talk about engineering, it's always that boring thing that people, People have in mind a stereotype. Uh, seeing you, I think you would be the anti of what people have in their minds. Please share your experiences. Yes, so I mean, like I said, like a lot of my construction are away from the cities. So they are in uh, places close to parks, close to uh, hillside so oftentimes after work we go bike riding you all you guys like bicycle ride if you show the previous picture i can tell you there are some nice bicycle trails there that go into the valley and there are waterfalls and streams so engineering is not everything boring i know the one with the the previous one just you showed the one you showed before the very last picture yeah you see all the hills around there so we go mountain biking there does that sound fun yes oh, i yes. love mountain biking a lot that's good me too So that's the exciting part. We get our exercise. What is most important? Exercising, right? So we get to walk a lot in the, in the construction side. And then you also build muscles by lifting things up and setting them in place so you get stronger. You all exercise? Yeah, they just had yes. a session yesterday. <laughs> How about you, Abdullah? Yes. Are you like your dad? <laughs> All right, Abdullah's dad is famous for his exercises. Now, if I would like to add something to it, I'm sure. Yes. Now, I have my daughter here, and this semester she did a research on earthquake preparedness. So we all talked about how how well we can design the bridges, how well we can design the houses and stuff, and but we still have old buildings right and we still have people living in those old buildings we still have old roads and bridges which may may not be good so when an earthquake comes and if you are in that situation what you need to do um i'd like zara share with you all what she did in her research come here sit in um, hi Zara. Hi. Um, I'm going to be talking about ways to prepare 
um, before an earthquake, during an earthquake, and after? Well, the first way to prepare is before an earthquake. You, a good way to prepare is making an emergency kit with food, radio, extra batteries, and a flashlight, and a first aid kit. The food must not be per perishable, which means um, the food must be like, um, like be canned beans, food that can't, that needs food that doesn't need to be in a cool temperature. Um, food that doesn't need to stay fresh all the time. Um, a, um, also a way to be prepared is to learn CPR or first aid. Um, during an earthquake, you must stay calm. Do not move into any other rooms and get under a table or desk if you can. If you can't, then a best way to go into a corner away from windows or glass or anything. Um, another way to protect yourself is by going laying near a couch. Objects can fall and bounce off the couch or fall onto the couch, but it it's less likely for things to hit you. Um, if there's nowhere to go, then find a place where you can cover your head and neck as much as possible. Um, if you're outside, stay away from trees, buildings, and electrical power lines or wires. Um, and if you're in school, get under your desk and follow your school's emergency plan. Um, after an earthquake, stay calm and if you're in your house, turn off all natural gases and electricity and have your parents do this if you're a minor. Um, if you're outside, stay away from falling buildings and trees and electrical wire wires. Do not leave your area unless unless you must, and stay away from damaged. Stay away from the damaged area. Um, tune into your radios, and tune into the radio station, and and only use the phone for emergency contacts, as in for the um, as in for ambulances and police. That's wonderful, fantastic. And do not go and check your WhatsApp messages or Facebook because there's an earthquake going on. <laughs> Thank you, Zara. That was brilliant, you know. I oh, think uh, Kevin, uh, Irfan, she's Zara. definitely better. Yeah, she's definitely better than you, Irfan. I'm so sure about it, yeah? Fantastic. Uh, Irfan, there's a query for you. Is there lots of maths in engineering, Irfan? If you could just tell them what are the requirements to go in for engineering, please. Yes, when you are in school, uh, focus on your math and calculus. Uh, but when you go become an engineer, mostly you'll be using computers and calculators. So you will not be using too much math and that's a secret, don't tell anybody. But to pass your engineering, you will have to go through studying a lot of math. So don't hate math. It's fun, it's uh, all numbers, and once you love numbers, then you're best suited for becoming an engineer. Wow. So, uh, Ishwan, this is, this is uh, where, where did I go? Among the bridges that we want to talk about, I don't know if I can share my screen. And Rishda, want to share something and show us? Oh, well, here you are. Can you see some of the bridges that I pulled up? And we would love to know from you what bridges are these. You know, all I did in my engineering was cantilever and some kind of cable bridges and something around. So we will Ma quiz him now. So Irfan sir, can you just tell us, can you see the screen? Can you see some of the bridges on display? Yes. Uh, this was the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Okay. This and is one of the most scenic bridge and it's a suspension cable. I'm, uh, do you know, are, are you all kids from Bombay? Oh, yes. Then 
Have you all driven on the Bandra Worldly C-Link? That was next up there, absolutely. Let me pull that up for you. That's almost like this bridge too. Okay. It's a suspension cable bridge. Hi, so, sister. The picture. Let me put the picture again for you. Okay, so, so the Bandra C-Link is like a suspension cable. Which one is this? This is the one that all of us loved it because it was always falling down. And we built it right. with iron rods. Bridge. What kind of bridge is this, Ifan, sir? Oh, that, the bottom portion of the bridge is a steel arch okay. bridge. And then the top is a steel girder, steel truss bridge. So there's all steel in there and why it has steel. I mean, this bridge, the interesting part of this bridge is the lower portion you see. Mm -hmm can open up and down so that the boats and ferries and steamers oh, okay. can go, go underneath it. It's oh, a type yeah. of collapsible bridge. Right. And, and does, does Zara know the poem associated with it? Can she recite it for us? I think I'll, mm -hmm. I, my rights will recite along with it and I want to hear them. I want to make them kids again. Shabana ma'am, can you write? I, I dare them. It's a challenge for them. Oh. You, you don't need to dare the rights, okay? The teacher herself is tossing. Linda, 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 Linda is falling down. Falling down. Falling down. Yeah, I don't want Dhinchak Puja it's singing. I, I want Mohammad Rafi singing. My fair lady. By the way, actually, this is not London Bridge, okay? Actually, this is Tower Bridge. Okay, all right. But no, that's what we've learned in our school. I cannot change I it. Have, I have been to right. London Bridge. So, oh, I right, have gone to London Bridge. Zara can join you. All right, right. one, two, three. Uh, everybody, come on. Rushda, Abdullah, Aisha, Jueria, Umar. London Bridge. Umar, one, one two, two, three, three start. Yeah. London Bridge is falling down. London Bridge is falling down. Yo, yo, yo. If they sing like this, London Bridge, Queen will jump from the London Bridge. Queen will jump. Okay, which, what kind of bridge is this, Irfan, sir? This also is an arch bridge, but it's, it's used uh, stone masonry. So this is one of the very oldest... Uh, oldest type of construction. It takes a long time to build this kind of bridges. Like in the middle, they have towers, they call piers. And then the arch, the shape of the arch that supports and distributes the load into the piers. Wow. And there is a roadway up on top. This yeah. is like one of the bridges in England too. I've got, I've got the, uh, this is the one you were mentioning about, the one that, what do you call it? The one that opens up split wide? Yeah, these are like collapsible bridges. Okay. And, and the last one for all of them is if they don't work on making bridges and they don't do the engineering well, this is what they'll end up with. This is the kind of bridge they'll make then. There you are. There you are. Look, Muhammad, Muhammadi and Muhammad Saqib. If you don't do your match, this is the kind of bridge I'll allow you to make. All right, that's what we have all of us. Uh... That bridge can break very easily. Really? They can? Uh, yeah. That's the reason their calculations are not correct. Yeah? If, you, if all your fathers are walking. Yeah, that bridge is really fun to walk on though. <laughs> Has anybody tried to cross a bridge like that? It's very scary to walk on. Yeah, but I've, I've done it. I've done it in Manali. The road bridges are very, uh, like very delicate from a mountain to the mountain, the big ones. Yes. Yeah, okay. The last bridge which, which you showed was the bridge in the King Kong movie. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know about that. All right, fine. I think. Uh, I, I, Irfanta, there's a question for you. So I think I'll exit and get the question for you. There is a bridge in China that is fully made of glass. Yes, the deck is made of glass so that people can see from below. There is one... Uh, Seven words bridge. There is one bridge made in America. Uh, 
if you even step one time on it, you will you, it is very slippery. It is of ice and it is very slippery. Oh, that's nice to know. Yeah, Aisha, that's the bridge in the movie. Do you know where that's the bridge? Ice Age movie. Ice Age movie. Hmm. Ice Age movie. <laughs> okay, then. Any more queries for Irfan, sir? Right? Any queries? Uh, so, Mohammed, okay, your math is sorted out. Don't worry, we have computer, right? So, you don't, need not worry. Go ahead with your engineering. And uh, meanwhile, Irfan, would you like to give some last words, some last advice to my young budding architects and engineers, please? Yes, of course. I mean, all of, all of these kids are really wonderful. Give a tap to yourself on your back and say, I am great. Say it loudly to yourself. Say, I'm awesome. Go on, unmute yourself and say, I am great and I am awesome. I already am, so That's I don't need back. to. Good <laughs> job. Come on, unmute yourself, everybody. Omar, Aisha, Hamza, I am great. 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 I am awesome. I am unique also. So always have fun. I am fashionable. And I am Iron Man. Play sports. Do a lot of mischief. So once you grow up, all that will be taken away from you. I'm just joking. And love what you do. Right? Thank you so much, Irfan, sir. It was, you know, these small sessions make a whole world of a difference. Who knows, one of them goes and designs a wonderful bridge and the architects that we have here. So yeah. thank you, Zara, for that lovely uh, insight into the earthquake. I grew up in Andamans. We had almost every day alternate days earthquakes. So I should have learned that when I was growing up. And then one, one, one question to your parents. Go home and ask your parents that, do we have an earthquake preparedness kit at home? And if not, then tell them how to make one, right? Fantastic. Yeah. And Thank you so much. That you can get it quickly. Right. And also make sure all the furnitures are anchored to the wall so they don't slide or they don't fall during earthquake. Bombay is one of the high zones for earthquake too, right? Right now, right now it's it's, it's the range that's creating havoc. <laughs> right, thank you so much. In Bombay. Yes, Aisha. All right, so you be ready for your class at eleven once again. Thank you okay, so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, Zara. So Bye. Good luck. Thank you, Zara. Thank you, Irfan. Bye bye. Have a good night bye. for you all. And right, have a good day to you. Okay, then. Bye bye. Everybody get up from the seat and only come back and log in at 11. All right, Mohammed, leave the class. Abdullah. Good, good, good. Rushda. Good. Aisha. Leave, leave the class. Hamza, get up, get up from your place. Go get something. Hamdan. Sir, my internet connection went. What do we have to get? Uh, no, nothing. You just come back. You will get yourself at 11 o'clock, okay? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Leave the class. Bye.